The last bike we sold was a pretty nice Harley Davidson Road King. I got another Harley to sell, but this one is a little bit different. What's up everybody, Monty here, and this time, there's another Monty, my brother. So uh, we sold, uh, we've been doing pretty good flipping some things. Uh, the last one we sold was uh, that smashed up Road King that I mentioned in another video. Uh, and we're looking around for some other bikes. We were trying to buy a Sportster, uh, but unfortunately we got to it too late. Um, uh, it was sold, I believe it was an 86 Sportster, something like that, which is nice. It would have been a great bike, but you know, you snooze, you lose, something like that happens. Uh, but while we were over, in, over at my parents' house, um, we saw a listing for a a, uh, a jukebox from Harley Davidson. And since some of the files that I recorded that day are now corrupted, we're gonna do this as a lovely voiceover. This is a jukebox that I honestly think will be perfect for someone's uh, man cave, their basement, a garage, family area, business, so something along those lines. But here's the uh, the lowdown on this particular jukebox in our possession. It's an ultra rare licensed Harley Davidson CD jukebox from Rock Gold. It holds about, it holds a 100 CDs. Here's the backstory. It's important to know that the motor company hosts uh, a large gathering once a year, at least they used to, I don't know if they still do it now, with dealership owners. At one of the meetings, uh, this particular jukebox, which again, only 100 were made, uh, were sold to the dealership owners at this gathering. Uh, the jukebox was sold to owners of the now defunct Legends Harley Davidson in Clifton, New Jersey. It's about 25 years old, but if you're looking at the any of the pictures, if you're looking at any of the video or anything like that, this thing's in magnificent condition all the way around. There's no ding scrapes, uh, or really any other cosmetic issues that we can find. The thing is super loud, super loud, and it's crystal clear. So you don't have to really worry about that. Dist you don't have to worry about that distortion or anything like that. You can control the volume with the buttons on the back uh, via remote control, or depending on your setup, you can crank it up and just blast it away. It's even hooked. It's even set up rather, so you can cr uh, hook up more speakers. So if it is a bar, surround sound area, whatever the case may be, it, you don't have to just rely on the speakers that are built in. There's plenty of plugs, so you can just kind of add more speakers to your mix of uh, of things. It comes with a power cord. Uh, the keys and the locks, a few of the guides, and a bin catcher for the coins. Currently, the machine is set up for free play. So you can just play, play those tunes all night long if you want. The remote and the sensor are included. Just note that the uh, the lid to the batteries uh, has gone missing, but uh, you can probably find that anywhere else really easily. Uh, in terms of any issues, uh, the only one that we're aware of, the panels, The and by panels, I'm talking about the thing that hold the CD covers that you kind of flip through to look at the tracks and everything. They can be like a little finicky. You just need to be a little gentle when you're hitting the next button. You can't just hold it down. You have to kind of tap it and everything like that, but it works, works with no problem. I'm gonna put the manufacturer date, the serial number, the model number, everything like that down below and make it a little easier for you guys to uh, to kind of do some research on this thing for your own if you want. Uh, it's important to know it does have wheels and uh, it has kind of clasps uh, handles on the back. So it's easy for mobility. It's easy for uh, a team of folks to uh, move the thing. Just know that uh, it's something where you need like a flatbed truck or at least, I mean, you really probably three, but a minimum of two people to be able to move this thing uh, wherever you need it to go, whether it's in the house or downstairs or anything like that. You know, if you don't believe just from me on how great and awesome, because I'm being pretty serious. I mean, this is the face of seriousness right there <laughs> at the same time. But no, hit us up uh, uh, just in the comments or, or descriptions or whatever. Uh, uh, I'll even put all the links for uh, other social media platforms and everything like that. And uh, hopefully the motorcycle uh, rider in your life uh, can enjoy this. So till then, take it easy. Have a good one. Bye-bye.